Hi, welcome back. In this clip, we are going to install Axios to the necessary setup, then collect data entered by the customer using JavaScript Web API call form data. Then we are going to declare a variable called a URL, and that URL will contain a link to our server and also its endpoints. So let's start. The first thing we need to do now is to install uh, Axios. You see, npm. Axios. As you can see, our Axios is successfully installed. So the next thing we need to do now is to import Axios from Axios. All right. So now let's declare a variable for our URL inside our function. So here we have let me add it here. Have const URL and let me get that uh, URL from our browser. Let me just take grammar. Let me copy then here and our endpoint. Let, let, let me just name it. Ti. Right. So we are done for that aspect. So the next thing now, I will also declare another variable called form. And then pass the web API call form data. And we have a append, a form append, and we have a email, then our good variable email. I'll copy it here, paste in my hair. We have a form here. So the next one is amount, and we have a amount variable here. Then in this first name, then Last name and all right. I think we are done for that aspect. So the next thing now is for me to declare a function. So let me just move this on. Then we have a async function and let's call it paste back a inside our function. Let me have a cross a parameter here and they have e dot event default and we have a wait axios dot post first the post request then the first parameter here will be our URL here let me get this and followed by the variable form we want to pass whatever value we have there then followed by an object Inside our object we have a header Headers, then the x, the, the string, we have a x, effect, and then the value, so the string, the xml, http request, right, then we have a, again, inside it, we have a response, going to be parameter to our anonymous arrow function, and that like is, so inside it, we have a, data is something let me just put it as a empty string for now then we have a the cache aspect this is going to be anonymous function Next, anonymous function has to be the error arguments so let's just go let's load the error to our browser right i think we are done for our axios at this point so the next thing that we need to do now is to copy our Turn it here and go to our button, and then we have a complete handle here. Then, here we paste out 